There was a little bit of graffiti during the graffiti abatement project. Yeah. <laughs> you've got to know your history. Somebody said if you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. I think having more art everywhere so that it doesn't feel like this is a luxury that only certain people have. This is a pilot project. So they spend several million a year on graffiti abatement. Either you focus your attention on things that are broken and need to be fixed, or you focus your attention on things that are working and need to be celebrated. Go to the site, feel it, experience it, understand who the community is. You know, people want to say, so you're going to build a mural or paint a mural? You know, that's what they think public art is. We came to start thinking about how it can help to grow community and to sustain community. Maybe art is also something you can talk about and learn more things. Some kind of moment of just feeling humanity. Oh, I think it's going to mean a great deal. This is an example of what you can do to make a difference. And whether the people think of it as art or not is much less important. We place a lot of expectations on the art to solve a lot of other problems. I do think is that there's a big change going on in public art right now. I just think that people are hungry for it. I, I guess I'm glad that it's not just about me, I'm glad that it's about the whole community. And it feels really good, you know, to have been part of that. <laughs>